How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood medical student, and today we're going to be talking about a vaccine that can prevent six different types of cancers, and it's a vaccine you should get when you are under the age of 26, or if you have a child that's between the ages of 9 through 26. And the vaccine that I'm talking about is the HPV vaccine, also known as the human papillomavirus vaccine. Human papillomavirus, if you don't know what that is, is a virus that's transmitted sexually and can cause cancers to whatever it becomes con in contact with. So that includes cancers of the cervix, the vagina, the vulva, but also cancers of the penis, cancer of the anus, and cancers of the throat. Usually it's a squamous cell cancer, meaning that if if someone were to unfortunately be diagnosed with any form of squamous cell cancer, they must immediately, immediately get some sort of treatment for it because if it's not treated, it is not a benign cancer. There are benign versions, but if you still don't treat it, it can become malignant. And unfortunately, it does lead to death if it's not treated and it metastasizes to other parts of your body. In fact, one of the research studies that I did while I'm in medical school is on having greater access to HPV anal cancer screenings among black men because we saw in historical data that black men were dying at unproportional rates of anal cancer if, if they are diagnosed with HPV associated anal cancer. So the study that I focused a lot on is making sure that everyone has access to screenings so they're screened early and that we can prevent that cancer. But if people are vaccinated against HPV, there is no need to have screenings anymore. If everyone in the world, everyone, not just the United States, everyone, vaccine equity, am I right? If everyone in the world were to get this vaccination series of HPV, then squamous cell, cervical cancer, vaginal cancer, vulvar cancer, penile cancer, anal cancer, and throat cancer would almost be completely eradicated. That's insane. To give you a little bit of a background of how many people in this country end up having some sort of precancer or cancer due to HPV, some of the data that we do have from the CDC includes that every year almost 200,000 people are diagnosed with some form of cervical precancer. Out of those 200,000 people that are diagnosed with cancer, some of them will develop cervical cancer. That's as much as 11,000 people every year in the United States that's diagnosed with cervical cancer. And among the 11,000 people that are diagnosed with cervical cancer, every year almost 4,000 people die from complications due to cervical cancer. These are really, really large numbers. It's very concerning. And the fact that there's a vaccine out now means that all of these deaths, all of these pre-cancer lesions, all of these cancer diagnoses could be prevented by the HPV vaccine. Now you may be wondering, how do I get the HPV vaccine if I haven't gotten it yet? Well, if you are a young person or if you have a child that's over the age of nine, you qualify to get the HPV vaccine. The max age someone can get the HPV vaccine is the age of 26. And after 26, we, we don't see a lot of data showing that it's effective for people over the age of 26. So if you're between the ages of nine to 15, ideally around the ages of 11 and 12, you can start the two, day, two dose vaccination series. You can start as early as nine, but ideally doctors like to give them between the ages of 11 and 12. You'll get the first dose and then six months to a year later, you'll get the second dose. Now, after the age of 15, or if you are an immunocompromised person, from the ages of 15 to 26, you do a three dose series. So the, after the first dose, you get the second dose a month or two later, and then you get the, your third dose six months after your second dose. Now, if you're the type of person who's no, who knows a little bit about HPV and you're watching this video, you might be thinking, well, Ben, I know that there are different types of HPV. There's different numbers of HPV. And I know there's high risk types and low risk types. Well, in the United States, the only HPV vaccination that's available is the nine valent Gardasil 
vaccine. So what does nine valent mean? Well, it prevents nine different types of HPV. And what's most important is that it protects against the four most high risk types of HPV. And those are number 16, 18, 31, and 33. These four numbers, these four types are most associated with eventually progressing onto HPV associated cancers. Another really good thing with the nine valent because it protects against nine separate types of strains and types of HPV is that it also covers for six and 11. You probably have no idea what that means if you're not in the medical field, but that means six and 11 are the ones that cause warts. So you will also be protected from getting really nasty looking warts luckily and not having to undergo any form of skin procedures or seeing a dermatologist and spending extra money to have those warts removed so the nine valent gardasil vaccine is the only one in the united states right now after 2016 so it will protect against the most high risk types and prevent warts as well so i know what you're thinking just similar to the COVID vaccination videos that I've done. What are the side effects of getting the HPV vaccine? Honestly, it's pretty common, pretty common vaccination side effects. After getting the first injection, you might have some mild symptoms such as pain, redness, swelling at the injection site. Some people might have a fe fever. Some people might experience some dizziness or fainting, some headaches. Some people have nausea and some people have muscle and joint pain after getting the vaccination series. But honestly, I've had the two dose series back when I was a teenager and I did completely fine. I don't even remember the symptoms that I had because I was a kid and I don't even have work that good of a working memory back then. I mean, I still don't have that much of a good memory right now. I know that's concerning to say as a med student, but I do, I have knowledge in my noggin. Just don't remember a lot of things about my personal life, probably because all that knowledge in my noggin is taking up so much space in my head. So if you're under the age of 26, please, 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 please consider getting the HPV vaccine so you won't have a headache later on in your life. Everyone deserves to have sex. Everyone deserves to have pleasure from sex. No one deserves to have the worries of some of the complications of after having sex. I mean, that's what preventative medicine is and that's why we want everyone to get the HPV vaccine. Not just, not just cisgender women. I know that's often heavily marketed when it comes to getting the HPV vaccine, but people of all genders and all different shapes and sizes and all different types of genitals should be getting the HPV vaccine because anybody can get it. Anyways, I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you will share this information with someone that may benefit from this information. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life and the shenanigans I get to along with my advocacy work. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. This is Ben.